I'm Tony and behind me is SV Sailing Vessel Tapacha and she's a 31 foot 8 inch J. Benford designed sailing dory and uh, this is the story of the build of this boat. Let's have a look. And if you like this sort of thing, uh, one thing you could do to uh, help us get out to a wider audience is to, is to click that old subscribe button if you haven't already or the bell next to it which will let you know whenever there's a new video out. Thanks. Well this week's been one of those weeks and it's been largely about this foremast that's under my hand here. Uh, we're working on getting some paint on that, so I'm getting epoxy primer on at the moment. A little bit of filler here and there just to, to smooth up where the fiberglass joins, you know. And uh, also fabricating the masthead fitting, so that's all completed. And uh, we'll be having a quick look at that. And a quick word about the, the running rigging, at least the element of the running rigging that goes up to the masthead. And it's been one of those weeks where I've spent a lot of time just researching and purchasing items, uh, researching to make sure I purchase, well, as sure as possible, to make sure I purchase the right stuff, the best stuff for the job, and actually getting on and, and buying it. So some of that's arrived, that it's relevant to the rigging that I mentioned. Some of it is still on its way, and, and I'll show you that next week when it comes. Some exciting stuff, I hope. I've just marked forwards and aft as it was on the mast and I just want to mark those on this and I've got some letter punches which may or may not come out let's um, do my best Hopeful. Just so it's marked. Aft. Uh, yeah, well, I can just about read that. I don't know if you can on the camera. And let's do the same on the other side. Just so that the forward is clear. So this is this is a 16 millimeter drill bit, cobalt cobalt drill bit. Look at that! That is pretty good, isn't it?
Let's have a look. Trial fitting. Spare halyard. Fits nicely. Jackson flag line. This one here is the flag line. Burgey Halyard. These two are the lazy jacks or top and lifts if you like. And there we have it. So forwards is um, a, a mark somewhere. Forward there. Good. Halyard, Burgi, top and lifts, spare halyard. Yeah, that looks good. And here we are looking at the foremast, which is in the process of being painted with epoxy primer. I've just put a bit of filler on to just try and smoothen out the bits where the, the cloth joined, just to make it that bit smoother. But coming on, needs a coat or two more of the undercoat primer. Then I've got some two component polyurethane top coat to go on there. But that's nearly finished and it's just about, well, I'll get that painted, moved out of the way, start on the second one. We've given this a polish up. There's that board you saw me making last week. It's finished, ready to go in, waiting for the paint to dry. And underside of this one's completely varnished and I'm working, building up the coats on the top side now. Here's another three or four. So here's the masthead fitting and I've given it as good a clean, clean up as it's going to get. I've got a little, some little dremely grinding bits in the corners and then went through the grits on the wet and dry wet sand through to 3000 grit I think it was and, and you know it's 8 metres up in the sky isn't it so nobody's ever going to inspect it too much it's clean enough and shiny enough for me. Looks good. I'm going to put a masthead antenna VHF antenna on this one and I've ordered some parts for that which hopefully will work out. This is the shorter of the two masts so I'm going to put the antenna on that one and uh, the other one will have a steaming light and anchor light on it combined. Maybe a tricolour as well, we'll see. So that's that and then these various tangs here is where the various blocks 
attach for the all the running rigging that goes up to the masthead. And let's have a quick look at that. Yeah, so there it is. And I bought these Tufnel blocks, which is sort of quaintly old-fashioned looking, but very good and long-lasting, and also not too scarily expensive. So I'm quite pleased with those. Forward is, he says, here. So. What we've got here, this one's just a spare halyard block or possibly for a ghoster. We'll see, I do have a ghoster, so there's a halyard for the ghoster. And then aft, two blocks for the three-part sail halyard. Three parts so you can pull up the sail nice and easily without too much strain. Then slightly forward of centre either side, a couple of blocks for the lazy jacks. Uh, or topping lifts if you like, um, running lazy jacks. One more around that side is for the burgee or flag halyard. And this one tang here that's got nothing on it, there will be a, a shackle on that with a line affixed to it. It's a fixed line, not a running line. Fixed line, which is called the mast lift that goes down the outside of the sail and ties around the mast below the, the boom. So that's the running lines for a junk rig. Um, Really, it's not many at the masthead. You've got the two running lazy jacks and the main halyard, really. Of course, there are one or two other running lines that help you peek up the halyard, uh, peek up the yard, and one or two bits and bobs like that. Um, if possible, I shall have fixed parallels, which I prefer. Parallels are the lines that go around the mast on the various battens. Um, some people have running barrels, but I, I would certainly try to use fixed barrels. Try and keep the running lines down to a to a minimum, and as far as possible, the lines, the running lines, will be led back to the cop cockpit or close to the cockpit, with cleats up just above the cockpit area, for, so the sails can be handled from the cockpit. There we go. That's what we've got there. There's the second masthead fitting started, but not finished. Well, as you may well know, there's a, another boat that I'm involved with, and that is um, the boat that our daughter Hazel bought for herself about three years ago, a uh, junk rig to catch. The boat's, boat's name is Alan Wally, and um, there, uh, Hazel and her sister Elizabeth are, are sailing it, and every now and again they send me a video clip, so I put this little, little montage, little filmy thing together of their adventures and see what they're up to. Hope you enjoy. Amy, what did we just do? We sailed off the anchor. Woo! New skill unlocked. <laughs> Advancing to level two, three. <laughs> uh, but yeah, ta da! We are awesome. Thank you very much. Okay, just dropped the anchor uh, off the coast of Aguero. Just got the the top wedges in and the bottom wedges in as well, but we tried to fill these holes with zicker flex, but that didn't really work. Uh, but we got these top wedges in, so that's pretty good. And some duct tape around the bottom, not a lot. I might put some more under it, but I don't know how else to keep the bottom from falling out. Yes, yeah. Hey, Evie. 
Hello. <laughs> what are we doing? We just walked one and a half hours along the beach <laughs> to go to the shop and buy food. Yes, we did do that. <laughs> it's quite warm today as well. It's very humid. Yeah, much warmer than we expected. We will. We're just chilling in the shade right now, and that's the town. People, Lumbeck, over there. You can't see it that much, but yeah, it's quite nice, and we have to go that way. That's where we're going. Wind. Okay, uh, so, Evie, what have we been doing? We crossed the, um, or oh, we crossed from Denmark to Norway, across the North Sea. Yeah, we did do that. Yes, we did do that. That was pretty cool, actually. Yeah, yeah, it took us two days. Two days? Two days. One day of no wind and one day of actually sailing. Yeah. <laughs> one day of drifting, one day of sailing. <laughs> one day of slowly bobbing, semi-parking and one day of actually going somewhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it was good. It was a good sail. We saw dolphins, we saw, we saw whales. whales. Oh my god, that was amazing. We saw an otter. <laughs> yeah. We saw... An albatross. Mm. That was very good. Yeah. And now we are in Norway. I will scan around. Okay, without the music. That is the lovely boat. We're on someone's private dock right now. But he was a very nice person and let us stay. This is his island. Or oh, I don't know if it's his island. This is the island. Uh, yeah. And we're just having some tea now. Oh. We tried to anchor like five times yesterday, two times today. It's just so deep here and so rocky that it's impossible to, to anchor. At in, least for us, we don't have enough chain. Us. We don't have enough chain and every time we've we've tried to anchor we've just hit rocks mm. instead of actually having the anchor dig in. Uh, yeah, so at the moment this is the solution we have found. <laughs> it's quite a good solution. It's a good solution, yeah. we have a bench. <laughs> yes, and it's pretty nice. Ta-da! <laughs> Uh, the glue finally arrived for the mast. I don't know if we ever said that that was a problem. But if we didn't, the mast was loose. <laughs> the last, the mast was broken. <laughs> so the forward mast um, was a bit loose, like a bit very loose. In fact, it was like wobbling from side to side and all the wedges had fallen out, um, which isn't supposed to happen really. Uh, so luckily after weeks of waiting, just before we, on the day that we set off to go to Norway from Denmark, we called the campsite again to ask if our package had arrived and happily it did. So on our way to Norway we had to turn back. Well, no, no well, turn off really. Turn, turn off, we we kind of sort of almost passed yeah. it and then we turned off. Yeah. and uh, motored to the campsite uh, Hazel jumped into the water and swam <laughs> we didn't want to pump up the dinghy we didn't want to pump up the dinghy to then have to 
deflated. Fold up the dinghy again. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So I swam to land with a dry bag and picked it up. <laughs> yeah. Then yeah. poured it in with the help of Dad over the phone. Uh, yeah, and then set off for Norway directly afterwards. Yeah. The same and day. luckily, it set. Yeah. <laughs> it all worked out okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, really well. It's done. It's done well. Yeah. Okay. view And there you go, that's it for this week. A big thank you from me to you for watching and of course a massive thank you to our supporters on Patreon uh, for all their wonderful efforts in supporting this project. Um, we'll be back next time. Of course, all that YouTube-y stuff. See you then, bye.